What is up my friends? Welcome to the video. Today we are talking about the foul, putrid smell of wet dog and how you can prevent it if not altogether eliminate this odor from your home once and for all. Depending on how bad your situation is, you could have your work cut out for you. But if you implement the 8 tips for eliminating odor that I outline in this video, you will be well on your way to brighter days of nasal pleasantries. Tip number one is to make sure you are washing your dog toys, blankets, and beds regularly. The dog toys obviously get a lot of saliva on them and it stinks because of the dog breath. But if you wash those regularly in a kitchen sink, bathtub, whatever, laundry sink with some warm, soapy water, you should be good to go with the dog toys. As far as the blankets and the beds are concerned, you want to make sure you are washing those a minimum of once a month. Add your one cup of vinegar to the washing machine to go with that wash. What you will find if you're a dog owner is that vinegar is your best friend. It does a fantastic job of neutralizing odors, and it's cheap. Tip number two is to make sure you are always washing your mops regularly. How regular? Well, that's going to depend on how many dogs you have and how often you have to mop. Best thing you can do is to get you a mop where you can take off the head, take off the pad, and wash it. Don't leave dirty mop heads on the mop because they will stink guaranteed. Buy a few of them so you can constantly be changing them out as you're maintaining your floors. Tip number three is to clean up dog accidents immediately. Don't allow that pee to sit there and dwell and dwell and dwell. If you get home from work, you've noticed the dog has peed on the carpet. Get that cleaned up. The longer that dog urine sits on that carpet, the worse it's going to smell. The best thing you can do if you're a pet owner is to invest in a carpet shampoo. Or that's what you want to use if you get dog urine in your carpet. And you're going to use it with, you guessed it, vinegar. Now here's how the process works. Step number one, you want to do an initial water rinse and suck up and extract as much urine from that carpet as possible. Step number two is to take your vinegar and you're going to apply a liberal amount directly to that urine spot right on that carpet. And you're going to let it sit for four to five minutes and that is going to neutralize that odor. After your four to five minutes is over, take your carpet shampooer, extract all that vinegar up out of that carpet and then follow it up with a nice water rinse. And that's the process. Now just give it 48 hours to dry. You can add a fan to it to speed up the process if you want to. But after that carpet dries, I can assure you the smell will be gone. Now if you don't have a carpet shampooer then you can use paper towels or a cloth and you can do the blotting method, the blotting or dabbing method with the vinegar. Same process, you just want to blot up as much urine as possible. Never rub carpet fibers because you just rub the stain into the carpet. You have to extract. In this, in this case, since we're using paper towels, you're blotting up, you're extracting into the paper towel. So blot, 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 blot up as much urine as possible. Pour some water on there as well. Blot, blot, blot. And then follow it up with your vinegar. Four to five minutes. Neutralize that odor. Blot, blot. Water rinse. Blot, blot. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to tell you right now that the paper towel method is not nearly as effective as the carpet shampooer. So if you're a dog owner and you have carpet and your house stinks, I highly, highly recommend you invest in a carpet shampooer. That with the vinegar will be your best friend. Tip number four is to leave things that smell good lying around. There's many ways to do this. You can use cotton balls, you can use dryer sheets. If you have plug-ins, you can plug into your walls that smell good from like Bath and Body Works. Um, make your house smell like cinnamon. It's really just personal preference. You can add a couple of drops of essential oil onto the cotton balls and then you just take those those and you can stick those like in your trash can. So pull the trash bag out, stick it down in the trash can, put the trash bag in. You can leave dryer sheets underneath your couch cushions. You can put them under your rugs. And you get the idea. It's just going to make your house smell a lot fresher and give it a more pleasing aroma. Another thing you can do is you can invest in an actual odor eliminator. Um, this is called Angry Orange Odor, odor Eliminator right here. A lot of good reviews on Facebook, works really, really well, but honestly, it's expensive, right? You could just use the vinegar and you can get the same result unless you just like orange, the smell of orange. You can spray the dog kennel down with this stuff and um, just works really, really well and smells good. So leave a link to it down below for you if you want to check it out. If not, go to the store, get you some vinegar for two bucks. 
Tip number five is to use baking soda liberally. This is also very cheap, so you can take advantage of it. Here's what you do. Once a month, once every two months, take your baking soda, sprinkle it all over your carpet very, very liberally, and you're going to leave it there for at least eight hours before you vacuum it up. Baking soda is like the vinegar. It also neutralizes those odors. So before you go to bed, pour the baking soda all over the carpet, and when you wake up in the morning, Give it a quick vacuum before work or before you go to work. Let it sit and when you get home from work eight hours later, vacuum up the baking soda. Tip number six is to open your windows. Now this is just pretty much common sense, right? You just open the windows, get some fresh air circulating in the house. It's going to help out a lot. Tip number seven is to vacuum regularly. This does include your couches and your chairs. The reason you do this is because that dog hair, as you know, carries that scent. So if you don't vacuum, that dog hair is going to smell up the room. It's just going to linger and linger and linger. So you want to make sure that you are vacuuming up all that dander and hair regularly. And finally, tip number eight. This one is going to have the most effect out of all the tips I've given so far. It's also the most expensive one, but it just comes with the territory, and that is make sure you are getting your dog groomed. Keep your dog groomed. It's important. Now, I'm sure your dog is proud of his scent, and this might ruin his ego, but it's very, very important. We've cleaned for a couple for years, and they take their two dogs, three dogs, every two weeks, like clockwork, don't miss an appointment, and they're home never smells like dog. Same way we clean our bodies or we're going to stink, you got to clean your dog. You got to brush his teeth. You got to have him groomed. So that's it, my friends. On a final note, it doesn't matter how nice of a home you have, how comfortable your chairs are, or how warm and inviting your couch may be. If your house smells like dog, people don't want to come over. So implement the eight tips that I've outlined in this video, and you won't have to feel guilty for the scent you've put people through.